Well, thanks for inviting me over, Richard, and it's really wonderful to see the Centre of Permaculture uh, launching here in Byron Bay and just being a wonderful beacon for not only the Northern Rivers, but for, uh, you know, the rest of the country. Uh, I think it's, um, it's, you know, it really gives me immense joy. I, I first encountered permaculture in 1977. Uh, Bill Mollison was speaking at an organic festival promoting the yet to be published first permaculture book and um, it just really resonated with me and uh, and it's been such a journey. Uh, I did my PDC in 1983 uh, up at Talgum um, with three women. It was the first women's course and that came about because the first uh, permaculture designers convergence in early 83 there were 80 men there and only three women and uh, Bill was freaking out Bill Mollison and he said uh, this is not sustainable if we want to be sustainable we need more women than men and uh, so they asked those three women to uh, put on a course for women to help even up the numbers and uh, that was that was my uh, original PDC and it's just been the most amazing journey since then and my permaculture work has taken me all around the planet and I've uh, had the privilege to work with people from so many different cultures and uh, indigenous peoples in many countries and uh, having our centre out at Nimbin uh, we've uh, hosted people from uh, all around the world there and what gives me the greatest joy is seeing uh, what people then go and do with that knowledge and the skills and the inspiration that they've gained through the training and the, the wonderful people I get to work with. And here is no exception, you know, there's been a really solid team developing here uh, over the years and you know, the, the proof is here in the, the pudding with these wonderful gardens here and it's only going to go from strength to strength. And it's amazing how permaculture has grown from uh, a concept um, cooked up by uh, two amazing minds in Tasmania in the mid-70s and now is practised in uh, over 130 countries around the world. And what has really uh, spearheaded that and underpinned it has been education. Uh, largely the wonderful PDC, which is um, a, a very inspirational module. And uh, it was in the early noughties uh, that, um, well, actually it was actually in the mid nineties, we started talking about the need for permaculture education to become are formally acknowledged and accredited. And uh, I was part of the group that um, started that conversation. And uh, then in, I think it was in uh, 2002, we decided unanimously that we would go down that path. And uh, it was a lot of work. Uh, we had some wonderful support, but it was uh, really exciting to roll out a package of uh, of um, qualifications, vocational qualifications, certificates one to four and diploma. And um, and it's, you know, terrific to see the college here at Byron um, and Mullum campus uh, taking this on and uh, there's been some wonderful uh, people that have come through these courses. And I think that's really what keeps me going, you know, is seeing what people do once they're empowered with uh, solutions and uh, they know that they can actually be the change that they would like to see in the world and they can make a difference. And that whole thing of empowerment is really critical, especially, you know, as we face such difficult and troubled times and uh, people are losing hope. But to maintain hope is to act. And people need, you know, they're hungry for ideas of what they can actually do. And it's not what, just what we can do as individuals, it's about community. And that's what I really appreciate too about permaculture. It's more than just growing food. It's about meeting all our needs, including our social needs and the tools of cooperation and working together. Uh, in communities as well as 
working with, with nature. So it's with great joy I'm here as part of this launch. And um, as, you know, one of my favourite quotes from Bill is that while the problems of the world are increasingly complex, the solutions remain embarrassingly simple. And I think, you know, the last six months, if it's taught us anything, it's taught us uh, the value of simplicity, the value of local, and of um, just sort of, you know, slowing down and really appreciating what we have in our bioregion, in our home, in our garden, in our neighbourhood, and uh, reaching out to each other. And, you know, the power of community is what's going to take us forward. Thank you.